monday.com review hi guys in this video i will tell you all that you need to know about monday.com and exactly how you guys can use this software for your personal use and also how i myself use this particular software so without wasting any more of your time let's jump into the software so uh, when you come on to monday.com you will see their dashboard and over here you have all the different options for example you have creative and design software development marketing project management sales and so much more so depending upon what you do you guys can choose any one of these options so for me it's mostly project management so i'm gonna choose project management so click on get started and that is gonna take you over to their sign up page probably so as soon as you come over here over here you'll have to enter your email address and then of course you can also sign in with google as well so i'm gonna sign in with google and i'll catch you guys in just one minute or sorry in just one second as soon as i'm done signing up so as soon as i've signed up it's gonna ask me to put my full name in over here so i'm gonna put my full name in over here i'm gonna type in a test name which is of course gonna be john doe because it's john doe everywhere on the internet and for my account name i can choose a different name so for example i can can have my full name over here up top exactly as per my id but for my account name i can have an alias i can have something else so that my team only sees that so i'm gonna put in um lee and after that i'm gonna check the box and then click on continue so when we do this uh, it is gonna take us over here so i'm gonna complete all of this and i'll catch you guys once i'm actually in the software so once you guys have signed up once you guys have set up everything this is what you guys are gonna see so over here you have their main dashboard so once you have your team set up you can see all your updates right here on your dashboard as soon as you log in every single day then below that you have the inbox and then below that like i said you have your recent tasks and you can add as many workspaces as you want so let's say if you are someone who works on sales and then if you are someone who also works on on the content production side of things as well so what you guys can do is you guys can have multiple workspaces added in this particular dashboard so that whenever you come in and, and you want to take a look at the sales you can simply go into the sales workspace and see if all those tasks were done or not so on the left side you will see all of their tools you have their workspaces option clicking on this it is going to take you over to the workspaces i'll tell you guys what's happening over here in just one minute but before that let's take a look at the whole layout of the platform so you have the workspaces option at the top right and then below that you have the notifications option so over here you will be able to see everything that gets done so for example if your teammate changes the status of one project from idle to in process to done well then you will see all of those updates over here coming live in front of you so that is what the notifications panel is for as the name suggests and then below that you have your inbox so money.com actually gives you a private inbox through which you guys can actually chat and you guys can talk with your teammates over here so why is this useful this is actually very useful uh, whenever you have that problem where you have to constantly maneuver around between slack and then whatsapp and then come back to your project management platform so all of that stuff really wastes a lot of time so having an inbox built right into your project management software is going to be really helpful because it is going to eliminate just so many different steps so for example you won't have to go on to slack you won't have to go on to whatsapp you won't have to copy links from like one software to another you'll have everything in one place and that is going to make your work more efficient so over here you guys can see that i already have a few updates over here but you guys can of course like add in updates so over here you guys can already see that i already have a few messages in here but you guys can of course dm as many people as you one i'll tell you how you can do that but first let's take a look at the last option which is the calendar option which is the my work option so click on the my work option that is going to take you over here so when you come over here you will see everything all the tasks that you were supposed to get done over here so in a workspace there are going to be multiple people so how will you know that what is the stuff that you need to get done because it all gets really messy sometimes i mean like their layout is really good but still after a certain number of tasks it it gets 
it gets really hard to like you know find what you want to do so to eliminate that they have a specific section which is only going to show you all the tasks that you were supposed to get done so that you know what you have to get done so like this is also very helpful for anybody who wants to get stuff done like this and they can simply come over here and they will be able to get their stuff done asap so like these were the basic main features so now that we have taken a look at all of the main features let's jump into the project management dashboard which i'm sure you guys are here for so click on the workspaces after that you will be able to see your workspace come up if you have multiple workspaces you guys will have a list over here of workspaces but if you have just one like me well then you will only have one so when you have chosen your workspace you will see this dashboard come up so in my opinion there are many project management softwares that actually do what this does i'm sure you guys know that as well but the layout that I've seen on Monday.com, in my opinion, like this is like the best layout ever because this is so colorful. This is like this is actually fun to look at. So over here, I have created my workspace in such a way that I know what's being done by whom and what's the deadline and if it's done or not. So I have all of these sections over here. But you guys can simply add in new tasks by clicking on this new task button and then you guys can add tasks into specific sections. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new workspace right now for you guys to show you exactly how that's done. So you guys know exactly how you might be able to incorporate that in your own workflow. So I'm going to click on add from the top left and then after that simply choose new board. So when you choose new board that is going to create a new workspace for you. But if you choose new document, that is going to create a text file for you guys. And of course, if you guys choose new dashboard, that is going to create something completely new. And that is going to be a complete new dashboard in money.com. So you can manage multiple different companies at once. So I'm going to click on new board and then it's going to ask me my board name. So I'm going to quickly type in my board name. I'm going to type in test board and then it's going to ask me for the privacy. So for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. But you guys can, of course, choose private or shareable if you guys want to. In private, you cannot share the board. In shareable, you guys can simply share the board with one link. So after that, choose why you are creating this board. So I'm going to choose tasks. You guys can also add in custom stuff as well. So click on create board and that is going to create the board for you in just a few seconds. So as soon as the board is created, this is what you guys are going to see. So over here, you guys have the group title, then you have various different items. And then below that, you also have another group title and then you have various different options as well. So to create a new group, what you guys can do is you guys can simply click on create a new group. Now, how can you guys use these groups? Like what's a real world use case scenario for these groups? So let me tell you. So for example, if you are someone who runs a YouTube automation channel, and of course this varies from niche to niche, but for a very basic luxury style channel, for example, you have the first process, which is uh, writing scripts. So what we can do is we can type in scripts over here. So when you type in scripts over here, like you can type in the names of the scripts. So we can type in Michael Jordan, legacy and how did he conquer so you guys can simply type in the titles over here for that and then you can simply assign this particular task to the person of your choice over here in your team and of course you guys can invite members by simply clicking on invite a new member by email and they will get the email and they will be in your board quickly so you guys can simply assign this particular task to your scriptwriter. your scriptwriter can simply change his status from working on it to done when it's completed and then you guys can also add in deadlines over here as well and if you guys want even more information for example notes or something like that you guys can click on this plus button and you guys can add in all these options so i'm gonna add a text option so once i click on text now i can simply add in a text telling my scriptwriter to make it 800 words long so when i type this in then he's gonna know that he has to make this 800 words long and then i can type in notes so like he knows that he has to take a look over here before writing the script or finalizing it so that is how you guys can add in various columns you can also add in multiple tasks by simply typing in the task name over here you guys can type in whatever and by simply pressing enter and then it's gonna be added and again you guys can add in more notes from over here as well you guys can assign people and also be updated for the task so the first group is going to be scripts. The second group can be a voiceover. So you guys can repeat the same process over and then you guys have a pretty automated system. And then of course, Monday.com also has a very good automation system. So by simply clicking on the top right where it says automate, 
you guys can click on that so you guys can create systems for for example whenever the scriptwriter marks a task done well then money.com is automatically gonna move that particular task over to the voiceover group so that the voiceover person knows that a particular script is done and it is ready and it is in its group so over here by clicking on this particular option you guys can just simply do that but of course you guys need to know the pricing for that so we are gonna get into pricing in just a few minutes but but before we do that let's come back to money.com's test board so over here again so now i hope that you guys understand the use of groups and how you can assign tasks how you can create tasks and also how a board like this can actually work in your particular company now what i did was just a very basic example but of course you guys can you know do whatever you want so now let's jump into the pricing of money.com to see if that works for you or not so let's go over there so coming over to the pricing you guys have five different plans that you guys can choose from you have their free plan then you have their basic plan then you have their standard plan and then you have their professional plan and then of course you have their enterprise plan but this is only for the people who have like companies like 2000 3000 employees and who want to get really good discounts and who want to get really custom built stuff so over here you have their free plan which is going to cost you nothing and you can have up to five people in your free plan then you have their basic plan for which you'll have to pay eight dollars per person so if you have a team of 10 people you'll have to pay 80 dollars per month and you will get all the features that you guys can see over here and then for this standard plan you guys will be able to get a lot more features for 10 dollars per seed then you have their pro plan which is going to be 16 dollars per person per month but you will get so many different cool options such as stated over here and then of course for the enterprise plan you guys can reach out to them and you guys can get tailor-made services especially for your particular business and also money.com is being used by some of the biggest brands out there so that's a plus as well so guys this was the review of money.com i hope this video helped you guys out if it did make sure to smash that like button subscribe take care till next time goodbye